What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Regina Michelle. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I like to talk about my journey as a part-time reseller. I also like to do vlogs on what's going on in my life. But today, we're going to be talking about these eBay sales for February. I only had about 10 sales, but that's okay because 10 sales is better than no sales. I am a part-time reseller, so my sales are not going to be like the full-time resellers. But these sales are just the idea of how and what you can sell on eBay, Facebook Market, or Macari. Just give you an idea of what can sell. So we're going to go ahead and get into these sales and show you what's sold. So this first sale is, this was some expired ink. Um, it was two in a pack. It's the HP Genuine Black Ink Cartridge, and it was expired. It expired in 2019. Somebody still wanted to buy them, and I accepted an offer for $14, and the buyer did pay for the shipping. So this just gives you an idea of what can sell on eBay. Yes, you can sell expired ink. This next item is a vintage roll machine, which I found from the thrift store for maybe about three months ago um, at Big Saver Thrift. And I want to give a shout out to the Midwest seller, Stephanie. Thank you so much for purchasing this. You know, we have a reseller community. We always support one another. Thank you again, Stephanie. This item sold for $18.90, and Stephanie did pay shipping. Thank you again, Stephanie. You just never know what's gonna sell on eBay, but a lot of vintage items do sell. This item is a vintage item. It's called the Vintage New Pull-Up Exercise. This item that I sold, this item came out of my bulk liquidation um, case that I purchased. It's the apparel. I always purchase um, items that's shelf pulls. And that means that they were no longer selling in the store and the store had to make room for new inventory. So they pull the items from the shelves and they send them out to these liquidation companies. One of them that I use a lot is called Bulk Liquidation. I purchased this um, box. This item was in the box. Just a who, what, where top, um, new with tag. I accepted an offer for $16 and the buyer did pay shipping. If I'm looking over to the right, you guys, I'm looking at my computer. This next item also came from Bulk Liquidation. Um, it's new with tags. It's just a button down top from Wild Fable. I accepted an offer of $13 and the buyer did pay shipping. This next item is just a vintage dress that I got from the thrift store. It, um, I like to try a lot of different things on eBay just to get an idea of what sells. I listen to a lot of my um, reseller friends to see what they're selling, and a lot of people do well with the vintage dresses. I don't know a lot about them, but I did take a try on this dress. Got it from the thrift store. I don't know if I'll be doing it again because I really don't know a whole lot. So this dress did sell for $9. The buyer did pay shipping. When I list my items on eBay, I always list it higher just so I can make a negotiation with the buyer. So say like I may list an item that the comps are reading $10 or $15. I may list it for $20 so I can let the buyer um, negotiate their price. And then we have a happy medium. I'm happy and they are happy. So sometimes you just want to meet in the middle and then sometimes you just want to get rid of items. This next item to sell was some Banana Republic jeans size 8. I got this item at the Thread Up box. I did try Thread Up one time. And it's just like a you receiving a mystery box of clothing and this item was in here. I wouldn't necessarily pick up Banana Republic size 8. When I'm picking up jeans, I would usually go for the larger sizes unless it's 
a designer brand that someone is really seeking but I accepted a best offer of six dollars and the buyer did pay shipping and I sent it in a priority mailer the legal flat rate and sent it off to the buyer the next item I sold is an item from my closet that I could no longer wear the Jessica Simpson leggings um, size medium they were used out of my closet and I accepted a best offer of nine dollars and the buyer did pay shipping I always charge shipping on my items because shipping comes out of your money. eBay does not provide the shipping for you. So I always charge shipping so I can make a profit on the items that I sell. This next item I thought was cute. It's like a festive boho dress. I thought somebody may like this dress if they wanted to go to a festival or a carnival and it's called Bailey. It's a size medium. It's so cute. I should have kept it for myself because I like to go to a lot of festivals, but I accepted an offer of $15 and the buyer did pay shipping. This next item is just a soft surrounding cardigan. This is just a open front cardigan by soft surrounding. The item is used. I did thrift it from the thrift store. I accepted a best offer of $10 and the buyer did pay shipping. This next item is a bra and I got this bra from the Buck Liquidation Company and I bought an undergarment lot and it had a lot of bras and so this is one of the bras from the um, undergarment lot. I accepted an offer of $15 and I did not charge shipping on this bra. I'm trying to get rid of these bras. I have so many. <laughs> so this next item that I sold is just a top. It's Ming from Target and it was new with tags. I got this Ming top out of a Macari lot. Someone was selling a clothing lot new with tags and they had it at a low price so I purchased it and you can make sales from other um, selling platforms so I bought it from Macari. I accepted a best offer of $10 and the buyer did pay shipping. This last item is just a skirt. This came out of my cousin's closet. She would give me a lot of clothes that she's no longer wearing. She lost a lot of weight, so she gave me her old clothing. She didn't wear this much, and it's just an old navy skirt. I accepted an offer of $6.50, and the buyer did pay shipping. So I only had 10 sales for February. My goal is to try to list every day and try to get one sale a day. Like I said, I'm a part-time reseller. I work a full-time job as a social worker with the government, so I stay pretty busy. I have a family and I have an antique booth that I'm trying to get off the ground. It's probably gonna take a while for my antique booth to get off the ground, but I'm committed to the call, so. But this is just the idea, you guys, to just show you what you can sell from eBay. You can thrift items. You can buy liquidation lots. You can buy off of other selling platforms and sell on eBay. There's just a lot of opportunity out there. I like to do it because I'm passionate about selling. I love going to thrift stores and buying things, and this is nothing new to me. I've been... I've been going to thrift stores since I was probably about 16 years old buying um, clothes. It was never any shame. I just like going to the thrift store. You never know what you're going to find. And it's a great way to accessorize and build up your wardrobe. To be honest, I don't like looking like everybody else. So you find some interesting things in the thrift store. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about taking my pictures and placing them on these platforms and making a little money from it. So if you have enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, leave me a comment. And I hope that you all have a blessed day. And as always, shine bright.